Immunologists James P. Ellison of the United States and Tatsuku Hongjo of Japan were named the joint winners of the first Tom Prize for Biopharmaceutical Science on June 19th. I feel very much surprised when I receive the call, and I'm extremely honored and almost overwhelmed. It's almost like the Nobel Prize, and it's given in different categories. I think that with that recognition, that'll also um, make people pay more attention to immunotherapy of can- as an approach to treating cancer. Ellison is an immunology professor at the MD Anderson Cancer Center of the University of Texas. In 1995, he identified CTLA-4, a protein receptor that downregulates the immune system. His team showed the following year that this antibody is able to help fight several different types of tumors in mice. The research led to development of a drug approved by the U.S. FDA in 2011 to treat melanoma. It worked much better than I thought in that melanoma patients that had a basically an incurable, metastatic melanoma was basically incurable. There was no drug that had ever been proven to prolong survival at all in that disease. But ipilimumab, by unleashing the immune system, caused about a four-month increase in median survival, which was had never been done accomplished before in that, in that disease. Tasuku Honjo is a professor at Kyodo University. He discovered program cell death protein 1, or PD-1, in 1992. PD-1 plays a central role in cell-mediated immunity. Antibodies against PD-1 have been approved by the U.S. FDA as an investigational drug. It is expected to be launched in 2015 as a treatment for non-small cell lung cancer. The most striking finding related to PD-1 is this treatment can cure a huge variety of different types of cancers, Hongzhou says. Most of the chemicals used for cancer treatment have specificity to type of cancer. PD-1 antibody so far tested more than 70 or 80 different type of tumors and appear to working. So that's big advantage. The Tom Prize was started by businessman Samuel Ian to award achievements in sustainable development, biopharmaceutical science, sinology, and rule of law. Up to three winners in each category will share a cash prize of 40 million U.S. dollars, or 1.33 million U.S. dollars, and a research grant of up to 10 million U.S. dollars. For the two recipients of the Biopharmaceutical Science Prize, the Tom Prize can bring substantial funding and attract global attention to their research while boosting public awareness of immunology. CNA, Boston, London, and Taipei.